the world's top boxing champion, opened this restaurant resignation rate of not percent. Because any employee who wants to resign must first fight with the champion. This is an ordinary restaurant. It's opening hours. Food in other restaurants are no different, but is also a special restaurant. Not only because its owner is the champion boxer Clean, it's also because it has many talented waiters. On this particular day, Clean told the manager, Jamie, that he owed a Japanese man $20,000. He asked the restaurant to make him $20,000 tonight. Jamie looks at his boss, who is still walking and throwing punches, and then he looks at the previous highest turnover of the restaurant which was $15,000. He was desperate to motivate the staff. He pulled out the tickets to a celebrity concert. Sure enough, the five waiters in front of him saw the tickets and their eyes lit up. Mia took the lead in driving the restaurant sales. Her pretty face was boasting in the crowd of men. How can you not order a few steaks on such a nice night? Carl goes to great lengths to praise an actor. He also accidentally gets a private job helping someone propose. The actor gives him the ring and tells him to prepare the surprise. That's a good thing. Dave was out of luck. While others were trying to get customers to spend more money, he received a man. This man just wants to drink lemonade and sit and read a book. Jesus, you're not ordering and you're not leaving. Why are you pretending to be artistic youth? Jamie looked at the back office and saw that they only made $2,000. It seems the concert wasn't that enticing to everyone. He got desperate and called a five-star hotel under the guise of Clean the Boxer and managed to book the presidential suite for four days and three nights. Can you imagine what a wonderful experience it is to lie on the couch with a glass of wine in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows? With that kind of temptation, every staff member was on the move. They started selling the most expensive dish, which was caught. Sales after sales came to Jamie. Carl was in the kitchen struggling to get the ring into the cake. But then he turned around and a hungry Jamie pounced on the cake and ate it. He ate the ring. That's a $450,000 ring. Tonight was destined to be the highlight of Jamie's life. He had his second desperate moment. Jamie had no choice but to take a laxative to get the ring out. Mia even started performing a skill she had learned it as a child in order to make a profit. That is to perform ballet for the customers. Maybe she got addicted to dancing. As she danced back to the kitchen, she ran into Dave with his hot soup. Oh no, her face turned as red as a monkey's butt. Clean returned to the restaurant in a frenzy of activity. When he saw the turnover, he was very unhappy. He took all the waiters upstairs for a meeting and he raised the sticks again. The first waiter in sales gets $10,000 tonight. And the last waiter in sales gets a few punches in the face. $10,000 should be worth a few months salary for the waiters. So everyone's working like crazy. Even Donnie, who was working in the kitchen, was pulled into the fray. He's so clumsy. He slams his face on the floor on the way out. He also knocked over a customer's glass of wine. Nuts is the best looking man in the room when he's not on his medication. He jumped and jumped around the hall. He set the whole hall on fire. The sales rankings continued to change. Mia couldn't resist. She brings out a cake for her birthday guest. As she's walking out with the cake in her hand, the guest sprays a mouthful of wine on the birthday cake kennel. Oh my god, her face is redder than a monkey's but Donnie, a first time waitress, was threatened by Klee and the boxer and was shaking with fear. He didn't want to be the lowest in sales and he didn't dare quit. Even though the consequences of quitting might just be a few broken ribs. He was found by Tara hiding in the utility room, crying. Tara gave Donnie one of her tables of customers. Dave also gave up the artistic youth customers results to him. At this point, Jamie finally excreted the ring. The actor finally succeeded in proposing. The night was getting late and the competition was heating up. Each waiter is running around the halls and the kitchens and recommending dishes to their customers. They're all counting every dish and every penny of their tips. Who knows if they'll get $10,000 for that one dish. It's closing time and the customers are leaving the restaurant. Donnie walked over to the artistic youth customer. The customer thanked Donnie for not bothering him and gave him a $1,000 tip. This is probably the MVP of all the tipping customers. Only, Hidani passed the $1,000 tip to Tara as a reward for the help she provided. And that's how Tara came out on top in sales. She's gonna get $10,000. But Cleon, the boxing champion, regretted it. He was going to take all the money he made tonight and use it to pay off his debts. No one wanted to do that. Where's the $10,000 bonus the boss said he'd give? We've worked so hard, we can't even get a penny. 
Suddenly Taro reacted and reminded Cleon that Cleon owed 20,000 yen. That's $170. It seems Cleon was all brawn and no brains. Taro received $10,000. Other employees were also rewarded accordingly. The story ends happily. In this sales contest, the waiters were in their element. They made money and made a lot of jokes. The film is fast-paced and uncomplicated. The movie called The Slammin'. Salmon is a good choice if we want to take a break from thinking in our spare time.